I do indeed, because there you can see a dangling set of paws in the form of Shadow's little cub, and she's sitting right next to us. Good morning, little girl. Now, it is unfortunate that we couldn't do our bushwalk. We had a few comms issues, and, well, fortunately, we found both Shadow and Cub, and they have a big kill, and it's in the tree, which is fantastic news. Now, I might as well say good morning before we get started into our Shadow and Cub sighting. My name is Tristan, as Taylor mentioned, and on camera today, I do have a Senzo Easy, and so we are coming to you live from South Africa, so remember, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or YouTube chat if you would like to get hold of us. But what an epic way to start our day. We've had a few frustrations with the bushwalk pack and we couldn't get our audio right and I was a bit on the sort of miff side if you want to call it that. And we jumped into a car and well this is the first sight that has greeted us is these two beautiful leopards sitting up in the tree. And Shadow's little cub is probably I would say at the moment about two meters from my eye level and she's just kind of taking it very easy. She's got the most fluffiest tail. I've never noticed it but she's got this long fluffy tail that is just hanging down and she's watching the hyenas that are loping around in this area and kind of watching them and then mom is also up in the tree but she's a little bit further away on the other side so there she is you can see her silhouetted against the sun sunrise and it seems like they've got quite a little quite a lot of that impala still left it looks like quite a large impala so i'd imagine these two are going to be here for probably at least today if not for the next two days which is really fantastic news there you can see one of the hyenas that i was talking about there's about two or three of them that are busy moving around here i think unfortunately they've realized there's no chance for them to actually get any sort of joy out of this there's the carcass is high up in the tree shadow is protecting that hello little one this little cub is so cute and i can't believe it's actually being so obliging sitting right next to us mom is still watching out and making sure she's just checking the hyenas and making a hundred percent sure that her carcass is protected up in the tree there you go she's lying on top of some of the legs which is very cool indiana you say cat day begins well i can't think of a better way to start cat day than with shadow and cub on a kill in a tree because we know shadow sometimes doesn't get this treeing story quite right and she lot loses a lot of her kills so i'm super excited that she's got a carcass that it's up in the tree it's a fairly decent tree for the two of them to be in the little cub is lying in one of the most beautiful spots that we could ask for it's right next to us and there's like i say just watching us as we sit here and i can't believe how relaxed it is this is normally a little cub that's a little on the shy side but you can see she's kind of sitting right next to us and is not even paying any attention at all it really is quite cool to see and she's getting quite big as now that i'm kind of sitting next to her definitely starting to grow quite nicely and she's a beautiful little girl i'm so glad that she's starting to get more relaxed or is relaxed as and allows us views like that it really is a special thing to have shame very cute now i'm sure yesterday they didn't have this kill i'm i'm almost 99.9 .9 sure their tracks were too much up and down for them to have had a carcass right here and so i think what's happened is during the afternoon maybe or, or last night they they managed to make this kill i'm trying to actually see the kill itself it looks like it has been fed upon and you know there are two leopards here and so at the end of the day two leopards will eat quite a bit of meat overnight and so i think early last night this might have been killed or maybe even in the afternoon yesterday when we didn't find her so at least we've managed to catch up with her today and, and hopefully it's going to be a wonderful morning spent with the two of them they're watching the hyena that's just kind of drifting in you can see there there's the hyena at the moment becca you're wondering who would get to name this cub well becca it's going to probably be named by the arethusa rangers now the reason why is because she was born on arethusa property and so generally where they are born is normally those guys get first preference but i don't know it'll be a rangers meeting that will be had between all the rangers and everybody will decide together what they think but how cool is that two leopards a sunrise and a hyena all in one shot and rusty so rusty doesn't want to be left out and is now in the shot as well and so yeah, we'll have the the rangers meeting and we'll basically just chat about it and, and some names will be thrown and forward and then between everybody we decide whether or not they're going to be used so that's basically how it works uh, but the arethusa guys get first option just because she was born in this area i mean or in their area and and that's how it works i mean it's the same with shongile hosana you know mishu and duna shivinzi shivambalana they were all named by the juma based rangers so you know cheetah plains guys juma guys um wild earth to a degree or safari live to a degree um I think sort of helped in that, uh, some of those but it's more the rangers that actually are in this area we have very little to do with the naming 
of any of the big cats. Chris Rogue, you say that this hyena's name is Sol and it's one of Gwen's older cubs. Well, that's good to hear. It, it seems as though Gwen's family has just taken over lately in this western side of Juma. I believe the other day at the den, a number of her offspring were also there. So it's great to see that she's around and she's provided successful kind of lineages to this area. It, it really is good. Now, the other two that are drifting around, I'm not quite sure who they are. There was also one that I found on Zoe's going back towards the den side, which I think was ribbon, but I couldn't see nicely as it was moving away. Now, we've got a hyena down here in South Africa that's going to have a little nap and a little yawn and is going to watch our two leopards in the trees. And while we kind of watch our hyena, I believe Taylor McCurdy has managed to find a spotted beauty of her own, also feasting off a dead animal. 